Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at using Synthmaster 1 as a fully functioning polyphonic vocoder. Now you, you can run anything through uh, through this as a vocoder, drums, vocals. I'm going to set this up running uh, vocals through it uh, so you can, you can see how the workflow works. So the reason I've got two channels here is that this is my microphone and I'm using the Focusrite Scarlett 2i2 as the audio interface. So any audio interface will do. You can even use the iPad microphone, but it's just easier if I do it like this. Okay, so the only reason for this channel is uh, so you can hear what I'm saying. So if I turn it down and back up, there you go. So first of all, what we want to do is set up your audio interface so it's coming in and obviously going out and also then what we need to do is open synthmaster in the effect slot here audio unit extension we go down and find synthmaster where is it down here somewhere there it is okay so we open up synthmaster as normal in the effects slot okay now i've got my M Audio Oxygen MIDI keyboard plugged in, so I need to root Synthmaster to that. So these three little lines here, let me just tap on those, and then we will see that we've got our Oxygen plugged in, or, or whatever MIDI interface you're using, you can just select it there, like that, and that's done. Now, if I play Synthmaster now, all you're going to hear is the synth. That means because we have to put Synthmaster into audio input mode, okay? So we open up Synthmaster like this. And to do that, all we need to do is tap on our preset there at the top and just put initialize preset. And what this is going to do is put Synthmaster initially into um, audio input mode, okay? So if we look from here, we've got oscillators, we've got waveform, and it says audio input. And then oscillator two is exactly the same, except it's switched off. We can turn that on. Okay, so I want to use both oscillators for this. So what I'm going to do now is scroll along. And we're not going to hear anything from Synthmaster, even though it's in audio input mode, because it's receiving MIDI from my oxygen. So I'd have to, have to play the oxygen for you to hear it. Okay. And you wouldn't really hear it anyway. You just hear some blow, audio rumbling sort of thing. So we can scroll along here, scroll along here where it says... Uh, to our routing section here and you can see how this is working at the moment the filters aren't switched on so they're not routed through we go to effects here and it says distortion equalizer compressor chorus delay reverb that's okay just hold tap and hold one of those and you will give an, uh, a load of effects that you can use in synthmaster so you can use up to six effects at any one time in synth master okay but we're going to use the vocoder so we choose vocoder and you'll see it's a 60 well it's a 16 band vocoder basically and you have mix gain frequency the usual stuff we need to turn vocoder on like that okay so the vocoder is now on so if i go all the way back down now here to my oscillators and what i'm going to do is where it says waveform i'm going to choose your sawtooth wave and I'm going to also oscillator 2 and I'm also going to choose sawtooth for oscillator 2 as well okay so because at the moment sawtooth wave is kind of your classic vocoder sound right okay so what see let's see what we've got so far if I turn down my microphone now in fact actually I'll just play some chords on the MIDI keyboard and you might hear some different sound Still doesn't sound much like a vocoder, right? That's because we're going to need to do some adjustments to the filters and stuff. Okay, so let's... Uh, okay, right. Let's switch that on and let's switch filter 2 on. Let's go to our routing now and you'll see that both filters are switched on. Okay, so we're going to... For filter one, I'm going to open up the frequencies a bit, but I'm going to do this as I'm playing it because we don't want to overload anything or blow anything up. So what I'm going to do is close out the microphone and just play the MIDI keyboard. Okay. 
So now it's we're starting to get it to sound more like your vocoder. Your, your classic vocoder sound. Um, okay, so this what I'm going to do next is going to really make this thing sound like a vocoder. And this is really, really easy. You can just scroll along till you get to your, go to your effects. And this time, I mean, just just for instance, we can make adjustments to our vocoder. Let me just mute this mic. So basically, you just play around with it till you're happy with a sound that you like. But really, leaving a vocoder set like this is probably better. Now, adding a chorus, this is going to make this thing sound amazing. So I'll just, just switch the chorus on in its basic settings as it is. And I'm going to turn the microphone out now and you can have a listen to that. And that's how you set up SynthMaster to be a vocoder, basically. And then when you're, if you're happy, like, okay, so let's go to browser and I'll go to Doug. And I, you see here, I have one called vocoder. And see how that sounds. This is one I played around with for a little bit longer earlier, you, you know, because you can't just, you've just got to, you've got to have a mess. You know what I mean? But you can save your settings, obviously, like you can with everything else. So I'm going to close the microphone out and play this one. So apart from nearly knocking myself out on a microphone, that's how you do it. So things to remember. Initially, what you need to do is go here, go initialize preset, which puts SynthMaster 1 into audio mode. You'll see that it goes back to its default distortion equalizer, just long hold and release. Choose choose vocoder. Okay. Um, then switch the vocoder on, obviously. Go all the way back to your oscillators. Make sure that you choose a, a suitable waveform. It's all too good, but you can use any. You can exp The good thing is you can experiment with all the different wave tables, stuff like that, you know. <clears throat> so you're not limited to using sawtooth, of course, you can use anything you like, and then you can mess around with the sub oscillators, etc., etc. I mean, let's just, I'll tell you what we'll do, just as a thing. Let me go back to my um, initial vocoder patch here, One, two. which is very nice. And if we go to, say, <clears throat> our effects again, and we've, where we've got, let's turn the chorus off. And let's put a, and you got you can use all the effects with the vocoder. It's cool beans. So instead of having a compressor, let's choose the ensemble effect. And let's try that. Ensemble is very nice. And then we could add some reverb. Now be careful because your volume is going to want to clip so we want to be taking our volume down to a 
a sensible level, you know? So let's try that. Hello. And we're still clipping. So we'll try that. And then we can adjust our volume here a little bit. Mute this. So that's uh, like a zillion times better. So yes, there you go. How to use Synthmaster One as a fully functioning six, and it not it, it sounds great, but like anything else, you know, you have to play around with it. You know, play with the filters, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Try messing around with the different waveforms, you know, to get different sounds and feels. The LFO, you've got the full use of the synth to play with the vocoder settings as well, just like you have with um, <clears throat> using it as an effect, you know, like we did in the other video. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'll put links in for Tins Math the one in the video below. And uh, yeah, very cool beans. Thank you for watching. If you like the video, like I said, give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel. Consider becoming a Patreon, please. It's really important. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you guys later.